Hey everybody, Chef here. Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. Just in case you missed the Google Meet. Today we took a bake, baking basics quiz number two. Uh, if you listen carefully, uh, I will go over that with you briefly. Um, you can also use the study guides, which I posted in the Q2 folder, January 11th through the 15th. They're in there. Tomorrow, Wednesday, I think I put, oops, I think I put January 12th there. My, my mistake, I think tomorrow will be the 13th, I apologize, Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. Uh, by the end of the school day, all grades should be synced into PowerSchool. Make sure, check a... I would check that Schoology grade book, see what you're missing, and um, we'll take it from there. Any questions, concerns about that, please message me. Please complete the muffin assignment that's posted, Q2 folder, 11th through the 15th. Very simple assignment. Please make sure you get that done tomorrow by January 13th. Uh, as you'll notice here on the uh, right here, we've been, we've been having some um, real conversations about Pop-Tarts. It's been pretty funny. Uh, I did not record this, but um, I didn't realize there were so many flavors and there was be so much input about Pop-Tarts, but it was pretty funny. So let's get started and tell you what's going to be on this Baking Basics quiz, so please pay attention. Double boiler for melting. Uh, this is very important. I think the question is about melting chocolate so it doesn't burn or scorch. You need a double boiler, also known as a bane sometimes. Bain Marie, you should know that. So what it is is the steam. What's the steam will melt the chocolate gently so it does not burn. And you put a bowl over the top, and obviously the chocolate goes in here. It just heats it up just enough so it'll melt, but it will not scorch. So double boiler or Bain Marie is the answer for that. I think other options are like saucepan, teflon pan, microwave, all those chocolate can still be scorched. On to the next slide. We did talk about puff pastry too. Um, did I miss a slide? Maybe not. We talked about puff pastry. Um, this is something, since we're talking about different types of leaveners, uh, chemical leaveners being uh, baking soda, baking powder, used in muffins and cookies and things of that nature, uh, yeast in your basic bread doughs, but there's also a um, physical leavener. And puff pastry actually uses a physical leavener. A physical leavener. Um, and what it is, is there's no baking soda or baking powder or yeast it's a it's a physical reaction it's a natural reaction where if you see in the first slide right here uh, this is butter and what this person is doing is they're gonna fold this cold butter and they're gonna keep rolling and folding and rolling and folding and it'll make all these little pockets of butter throughout And when you bake it, as you'll see here, when that butter melts, it creates steam and heat, and it makes the dough puff up. So that's puff pastry, physical, physical leavener. Also, I should probably point out, there is another question on there, um, which one of these items is considered savory. I think it's like peach danish, cookies. All the sweet items are not savory. And then there's like a ham and cheese uh, croissant or something like that. That is a savory item. So that's something you'll need to know as a test question. Here's a, another question under quiz that, that you've had before, um, but I do feel it's important. And all of these terms that I'm giving you, I'm, I'm trying to have them, 
I want them to have some relevance when you, you come back and, and things that we actually do and that you need to know. On your left here, there's a convection oven. And it's important to remember a convection oven. Here's the convection oven right here. Here's the convection oven. Um, a convection oven has a fan, if you see this. Well, let me see if I can use a different color, maybe not, if you can see that. It has a fan, which makes it, with the air circulating, it makes it 25 degrees hotter than a conventional oven, being a regular oven with no fan. So the point here is, is if you have a recipe that says 350, you need to turn it down to 325, 25 degrees cooler. Okay? That's a test question. Last question here. Proofing. This is when you you let your dough rise, like we talked about bread dough in a few sections back. And I think we talked about this before, but I want to reiterate it. After you roll out and shape your dough, you need to cover it and let it rise again before you bake it. This is called proofing. Okay. I think that clears it up for all the test questions today. Uh, once again, Wednesday, everything should be set up in power school and synced up. If you have any questions or concerns, please make sure you do that muffin assignment too. Any questions or concerns, please message me. Also, if you miss one of these test questions on this quiz, you can take it again. I think it gives you three times to take it. So, as always, let me know if you need anything. Have a great day. Hope to see you in the Google Meet on Thursday.